is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i am back with another video oh, so you guys today i wanted to talk about inner child healing and healing your inner child and how very important it is to attend to your inner child i was just talking about yesterday how like my inner child wanted to go jump on a trampoline and i want to go do it my inner child wanted to like hug a tree i want to go do it um it's very important that you attend to your inner child inner child healing is very vital when it comes to people who have been through childhood trauma you want to be able to listen to yourself and listen to that inner child in you and and follow what they want to do because when you have experienced so much trauma your inner child is very hurt and unheard and not listened to and that's the problem is that we don't listen to our inner child we tend to like have this built-up anger this built-up resentment because of our childhood trauma instead we can heal those parts of ourselves who wants to be heard and listen to ourselves we are the only people who can actually fix and heal our inner child can nobody else do that other people can be there for you love you attend to you but your inner child is inner work and sometimes you gotta listen to it sometimes your inner child wants to go sit at the beach run around with no shoes on you get what i'm saying run wear pajamas all day whatever it is that your inner child is asking of you do it journaling singing karaoke dancing in the middle of the living room by yourself whatever that is listen to it it is okay to listen to your inner child and 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 sometimes you might feel awkward or weird and scared that some people may judge you let them judge you let them say whatever they want to say because the truth is they're not even in tune to their inner child or attuned to their own inner healing that they're so worried about what you're doing they're not worried about what's going on in here inside of them and I think that's one thing that I wanted to talk about also for myself because I used to be so scared like oh my god like what are other people gonna think when they're looking at me and I'm doing this silly stuff be silly let people judge you they're so stuck in their own horrible life that they're the only thing that they can do is talk crap about you that's okay let them we're not here to please other people. We're not here to make other people happy. We're here to make ourselves happy. And if that means listening to our inner child and going, jumping around and being silly and looking weird and awkward and, and goofy, let yourself look like that. Let yourself look like that. You're judging your, you're your, you're your own critic. You're judging yourself before you even act on those inner child thoughts. Sometimes being yourself and being your inner child is what you need. It's the vital healing that you're needing. Sometimes you got to go for a run. Sometimes you want to go work out, be funny. You know, whatever you got to do, play, play board games. Inner child wants to play board games, card games, whatever it is. Making faces, saying silly things, talking in a baby talk. However that coordinates or resonates with you on your inner child healing work, write it down. Listen to yourself. Sometimes your inner child wants a hug. Sometimes you gotta hug yourself. Sometimes you gotta just hold yourself. And that's what your inner child needs. Sometimes you just gotta vent to yourself. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah, it's weird. And yeah, a lot of people will say other things. But listen, the only person who listens to you the most is you. You listen to yourself the most. So be your biggest fan. Be your biggest cheerleader. Be the one who heals that inner child inside you. And watch how much healing and how much you, you feel so whole in yourself afterwards. Because that kid inside you is begging to be held, begging to be heard, begging to be listened to. So listen to that child in you. She or he or they deserve it. Anyways, you guys, that's the video that I wanted to just bring up because it really was sitting on my chest heavy. Like, how can I tell my followers it's okay to listen to that inner child? How can I tell my followers to listen to their inner baby or inner child and and go do childish stuff sometimes you know what I'm saying? go to a trampoline park and go have some fun disney park whatever you gotta do go live your inner child dreams out because you deserve it you've been through enough as a kid it's time you go heal that little girl inside you or that little boy however you feel you know that inner child deserves healing anyways you guys 
I will see you in another video on Sunday. Peace.